Today in this video, I'm gonna show you how to start and finish your comic project in five steps. I just recently finished my comic, The Tale of Pumari. It's a short comic, about 20 pages. And so I'm gonna be sharing my process and what I've been struggling with so that you don't have to struggle. So let's get it. <laughs> so the first thing we gotta do when we create this comic is write the script and understand the story structure. We gotta understand beginning, middle, and end. So that means studying the hero's journey and establishing the setting and conflict of the story. Where does the story take place? And what is the conflict conflict of the story? Those are the main two things you wanna be thinking about. And so before you start drawing, so complete the script before you start drawing. I can't tell you how many times I had to go back and rewrite things in the script because I was drawing and adding scenes in my thumbnails. And that's just because I wasn't clear on what I wanted in my script. And so if you're clear when you write the script and you write the story, that will just save you a lot of time. Part of that being clear and understanding what you want the comic to be and the story you want to write is how long the comic is. Like how, do you, how long do you want your comic? Do you want 10 page comic, 20 page, or maybe you just want a five page story. Uh, just decide on what length you want for your comic, how long you want it to be, and make sure that while you're writing it, it's as clear as possible. You want everything to be written down in your script so that when you move forward into the thumbnail process, everything is easy for you to draw and sketch. And you don't have to do what I did, which is draw a thumbnail, notice that that thumbnail is not in the script and then has to rewrite the script. And so I don't want you to have to waste time doing that. So make sure that your script is well written. You take the time you need to understand uh, story structure, beginning, middle, end, the setting and the conflict and the characters in your story. So that's one thing I'm still learning how to do is tell good stories. And the more you do, the better you get at it. So let's just keep going, keep getting better. The next thing you have to do, phase two, step two, is draw the thumbnails. If your script is clear, your thumbnails will be too. And so, like I said, my mistake when I was drawing the thumbnails was I was creating new scenes that were, were not in the script. And that just made the entire process longer and, and harder than it needed to be. So in this phase, in the thumbnail phase, you, you are taking your script and you are drawing thumbnails for each page of your comic. Uh, for my comic, I was planning on make, making it around 20 pages. In this phase, you don't wanna worry about the details. You just wanna make sure you understand what's going on. So be as rough as possible, but make sure that you can understand what is going on in, in, in each thumbnail. For my thumbnails, I just created one big document in, in uh, Clip Studio and I drew all my thumbnails on that document. So step three. After you draw the thumbnails, it's time to go and draw the details and refine those thumbnail sketches. This stage is just all about preparing you for the inking process. And so you wanna make sure that all the details are there, everything is drawn to completion and that you understand what's going on in each scene. So take your time, use references and make sure everything is understandable and clear. That's like the biggest thing, especially for comics, make sure that not only you can, but your viewer, your reader can understand what's going on and everything is clear and understandable. I don't want any messy images. I want to make sure everything is, like I said, very clear. After that, I move on to the inking phase. And this is, for me, was the probably the most time consuming Part of this whole process was bringing everything to a finished look and inking the whole page and all, all the pages. Just take your time, ink the comic to the best of your ability. For me, it was very important that I had a reference alongside my screen while I was drawing and inking so that I could not only reference real life images, but also reference some of my favorite artists and see how they draw things so that I could in incorporate that into my own drawings. And the last thing, step number five, is coloring the comic. Depending on how detailed you want the comic, you can cell shade it or you can render it in more detail. Um, I kind of wish, <laughs> I kind of wish I cell shaded my comic because 
it took a lot of time to individually shade everything and add more realistic kind of lighting to the scenes. Yeah, this part is just probably the second longest part is coloring everything because after you get the inks done, you move on to the color. And with the color, I wanted to make sure that all the pages match the mood of the story and the tone of the story I was trying to tell. And so this is more of an adventure, um, action adventure kind of a story. It's a simple story, nothing crazy, but I wanted to make sure that the colors I used match the mood that I was going for. And so make sure that you do the same. Whatever your mood is for your story, use color to emphasize that mood and that tone. So that's it for this video. Those are my five steps for creating a short comic. I use Clip Studio Paint, but you can use this process in any digital program, or if you want, you can do the same thing on a traditional piece of paper. But I hope this helps you. And if you have any questions about this process, let me know in the comments and I'll do my best to answer them. So thank you for watching. I hope this helped you and I will see you next week. Peace.